Are you a wine lover and a knitter? Then let's knit this wine glass koozie together. This wine glass koozie was first introduced as a product at Palmieri Arts and Crafts. It was really popular during the holiday season, so I figured I would make this pattern official and share it with other knitters. It is a great gift for wine lovers, but also comes handy when you have multiple colors for gatherings, so you can identify whose glass it is. It is like a wine glass marker. It is first knitted from the bottom up, then felted at the end. The wine glass I am using is a 15 ounce stemless wine glass. It is about 4.5 inches tall. If you'd like to have a complete pattern, it is available online for free. The link is in the descriptions below. To make this koozie, we will need a crochet hook. This is only for cast on. US 10 6mm circular knitting needle which is long enough to use the magic loop method. 100% wool worsted weight yarn. I love wool of the Andes from Knitpick or We Crochet. They are the same company. You can also use similar weight yarn, but make sure the yarn is 100% wool and also not super washed in order to felt at the end. We will also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. If you are not sure of specific techniques or stitches used in this pattern, you can click the pop-up link on the corner of this screen or the links are listed down below. First, we are going to cast on four stitches using Emily Ocher's circular cast on, which is also known as a pinhole cast on. Now we are going to transfer these four stitches onto the knitting needle. And we are going to divide these four stitches evenly. So two stitch on one side and the other two on the other side. Now we are ready to knit. The first round is K, F, B. Knit front and back. So we are going to do K, F, B for all of these four stitches. And this is an increasing stitch. So when you finish this round, we will end up with eight stitches. And the second round is KFB, first stitch, and then knit one. And we are going to repeat this all the way to the end, KFB and knit one. So we are increasing four stitches every round. The third round is KFB, knit two stitches. KFB, knit one and two. And I'm going to repeat this all the way to the end. So we are going to work in the same manner to increase four stitches each round until round 16. So the round 16 should be KFB and knit 15. 
and at the end of that round you should have 68 stitches total. Once we are done with increasing round, we are going to knit two rounds. So just keep knitting for two rounds. Usually wine glass shape is narrower towards the top. We are going to decrease the stitch. So use SKP which is slip, knit and pass the slipped stitch over to decrease one stitch and then knit 15. And repeat this all the way to the end. The round two, three, and four, those are going to be knit stitches. So all you need to do is knit in round for three rounds. Round five, we are going to decrease in the same manner. So use SKP to decrease one stitch, knit 14, and then repeat that process all the way to the end. And just like before, we are going to knit through round 6, 7, and 8. Round 9 is the same. SKP, slip, knit, pass, and then knit 13, and repeat. But after we are done with round 9, we are only going to knit 2 rounds instead of 3. So we are going to knit round 10 and 11. We are going to repeat same decreasing pattern for two more times. So round 12 is SKP, knit 12, repeat all the way to the end. Round 13 and 14 are going to be knit round. And round 15 is going to be another decreasing round, which is SKP, knit 11, repeat to the end. Round 16 and 17 are going to be knit rounds. Once we are done with a decreasing round, we should have 48 stitches on the needles. Now we are going to bind off using 3 stitch I cord bind off. Again, there is a separate tutorial for I cord bind off, so you can either click the pop up on the right corner of the screen or click the link in the description below. Once we are done with I cord bind off, we can graft the ends and weave everything in. Now it's ready for felting. Fill the bowl with hot water. Make sure it's not too hot to burn your hand. Dump the koozie in the bowl, make it saturated, and then roll between your hands. We are going to keep doing this until the fabric is felted. Once you feel like felting process is done, you can put it on the wine glass to see if the size is right. If it's too loose, you can take it off and repeat the felting process again. Once it is done, put it in between dry towels to get excess water out. Put it back on the wine glass, shape, and let it dry. Once it is dry, we can put a little personal touch. Since it was a product, I used a personalized leather label to sew it with a leftover yarn. But you can do whatever you like to decorate this cozy. I think embroidery would be a fun idea too. If you liked this video, please give me thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.